Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Lucas. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you my workflow for finding splice samples and loops off the internet, loading them and organizing them on your hard drive, and being able to use them with Ableton. If you find this helpful, definitely check out my channel. I have a bunch of different tutorials and tone comparison videos on there. And also follow the link in the description to my website as well to check out my templates and various other music production things that I have for sale on my site. Here we are, this is the Splice website. I prefer to use this rather than the desktop app. The desktop app is nice for certain things, but when you're browsing, you're definitely going to want to use all the features of the website. I'm gonna go ahead and click Sounds. This is where we're gonna be going to find loops and samples and presets and things like that. So for the purpose of this video, right now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be looking for some drum loops that I wanna use to write music to, to essentially have a bunch of song starters. And I'll do this kind of like once a week or once a month or whatever whatever whenever I have time so that I have a few things to write music to if I'm in a session and I don't have inspiration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click instruments here and I'm going to go to drums and if we click view all it will start browsing for us. We're going to do uh, live sounds here because I think I want some drum kit sounds. I'm going to leave the genre blank because I don't really care about that. I don't care about the key or the BPM but I do care about finding loops. So we have a couple other things that we may want to filter down. Now, as you can see, it's sorting right now by most popular, and I actually don't want the most popular ones. I want the most relevant ones for now. So let me go ahead and listen to a couple ones that I haven't heard and just see if I can find anything I like. Okay, so let's say I like these two. Um, so once you press this little arrow button here, it's gonna add it to your library. So I found these two loops. I think they sound fine for what I need right now. This is the point where I'm gonna switch over to the Splice app right here. So now what you can see is if you click sounds, it's gonna show you the ones that you've recently downloaded. So in the past, I posted a video, that's actually one of my most popular videos on my channel that shows you a workaround because I really don't like dragging loops one at a time out of Splice into Ableton. So as you can see, I could just drag this over here, but to me, this is really slow and doesn't make any sense especially because Ableton will warp everything for you so you can conform it to the session tempo if you've already started a song and you want to audition drum loops that way. Check out right here, I'm going to click on my preferences and this is actually just in case you don't know where your splice folder, you can go to folder here, right? So here, do this here. So here's my splice folder, right? And as you can see, all the sounds are located in these packs and it's kind of a mess. Well, it's not a mess, it's organized. It's just in a lot of nested folders and it's not great for uh, browsing the stuff that you've downloaded. So what I'll do is I'll actually just press Command F on Mac and search for kind music and we can do a sort by date added. So as you can see here, these are the two loops that I just added today. So what I'll do is I'll open another finder window. My samples for my 2023 splice finds is right over here. So what I wanna do is I'm searching for through splice sounds using the date added column to narrow down the ones that I've downloaded today. As you can see, the last time I downloaded samples was July 9, so it was a while ago. You can see the exact date that you downloaded them and you can hold option and just drag that over to whatever folder you wanna use. So now when I'm in Ableton over here, I can load up these samples and it will automatically conform to the session tempo while I'm auditioning it on the left side and you can just drag it in right here and I think it's much easier to browse in this fashion than it is dragging things from the Splice uh, app here. But the Splice app is nice. I just would say I prefer browsing using the website and then just using the browser to go through some of the stuff that I recently downloaded. So let me know if you guys find this helpful. Check out my website. Check out the rest of my videos on YouTube. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.